Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony and with this channel we bring you guys a variety of tech related content. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell down below so that you're alerted to when new content is being released. In today's video we're going to take a look at how to configure the LAN 2 port on a Unify security gateway. All right, guys, so recently I've gotten quite a few emails asking, do you have a video on how to set up the secondary LAN port on a USG router? This diagram will outline exactly what I plan to cover in this video. In this diagram, you can see that I have the first LAN port on the USG set up on a 192.168.1.0 slash 24 subnet. I'm connecting that to a USG switch on port one and then hanging off of port two on the switch is my computer and it will obtain an address in that same subnet. On port eight, I have my Unify cloud key, which I'm running my Unify controller on. What we're gonna do is set up the secondary LAN port on a 10.0.0.0 slash 24 subnet. And then once we have that configured, we'll connect a Raspberry Pi to that secondary LAN port and it should obtain an address in that 10.0.0.0/24 subnet. Since this is a USG router, it will configure itself by default to pass traffic across both subnets. Here's the thing though, in order to be able to configure this secondary LAN port, you have to be running controller version at minimum of 5.5.x. On the Ubiquiti Cloud Key, I'm currently running version 5.7.23. That being said, let's get to the configuration. All right, so I'm signed into the Unify controller and it's a pretty simple process to set up the LAN 2 port. The first thing we need to do though is get into the settings. So we'll do that by clicking on the settings icon in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. From here, we need to click on networks. Here you can see the network that's set up on the first LAN port. In order to set up this secondary LAN port, we need to create another network. So we'll do that by clicking on Create New Network. Let's start by giving it a name and we'll call it LAN2. We could leave it as a corporate network, but here's the important piece where it says Parent Interface. We need to come over and select LAN2. And then under Gateway and Subnet, we'll give it a gateway address of 10.0.0.1 with a subnet of 24, and we're going to tell it to update the DHCP range as well. So you can see here, the DHCP range is starting at 0 0.6 and running all the way up to 0 0.254. And I'm just gonna leave it at the default for the purpose of this video. That's all we need to do at this point. Let's just come down and click on save. And that's pretty much it, guys. Now you have your LAN on 192.168.1.1 on the first LAN port and your LAN 2 of 10.0.0.1 slash 24 on the secondary LAN port. That's all there is to it. Now that we have the LAN 2 port configured, let me go over and add the Raspberry Pi to that port. Let me get it fired up and we'll come back and we'll do some quick ping testing. I'll be right back. All right, so now that the Raspberry Pi is fired up, I want to refer back to the original drawing for a sec. The Raspberry Pi obtained an address in the 10.0.0 subnet of 0 0.6, while my computer is sitting in the 192.168 subnet and obtained an address of 1.7. Now, what we're going to do is initiate a ping from the computer over to the Raspberry Pi and see if we can cross the two networks. As the USG says by default, it can be done. Then we're going to initiate an SSH session from the computer here into the Raspberry Pi, and then we're gonna see if we can ping through that SSH session through from the Raspberry Pi back to the computer. And what I thought I would also show you too is what this diagram looks like in real life. It's not very pretty. It is a lab setup, but you can see the USG here is connected to the switch on port one. The computer is the white cable, which is connected to port two on the switch. The cloud key is on port eight. And then if you look back at the USG, you could see that the LAN port two with the blue connectors is connected up in the back to the Raspberry Pi. So let's get pinging and see what kind of results we get.
So I have my terminal window up because I am using a Mac. If I was using Windows, I would be using PuTTY. So here we go. So we're going to ping 10.0.0.6. And you can see we're getting a successful ping across the two networks. Okay, now let's SSH into the Raspberry Pi from the desktop. Okay, now we have a connection into the Raspberry Pi will initiate a ping now from the Raspberry Pi back to the desktop. So it'll be 192.168.1.7. And again, you can see we're getting a successful ping across the two networks. So that about wraps it up for today, guys. I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos. Remember to subscribe, like, and share, and please use those Amazon affiliate links if you're on the market for anything. It doesn't change your price, but it does help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, I thank you for watching. See you next time.